There's snow all around you in this frozen tundra. All plants have died away for winter, yet up ahead you spot a glimmer of green. As you approach, you wonder, how can any plant be green in these temperatures? Then you realize there's a whole forest of them. Today we are talking about these great survivors. We're diving into the world of evergreen trees. Evergreens are unique, beautiful trees that stay green all year long, and they play a vital role in forests, ecosystems, and even holiday traditions. Whether you see them lining mountainsides, decorating cities during winter, or in your own backyard, there's so much to learn about these amazing trees. So let's start with the basics. What exactly are evergreen trees? Well, evergreen trees are exactly what they sound like. They are trees that stay green all year. Unlike deciduous trees that lose their leaves each autumn, evergreens hold onto their foliage, allowing them to stay green even in cold or dry seasons. This is a survival strategy, as keeping their leaves allows them to photosynthesize whenever conditions are right, even in winter, giving them a steady source of energy. Most evergreen trees are conifers. A conifer tree is a type of tree that produces cones as part of its reproductive process and has needle-like or scale-like leaves that stay on the tree all year. Unlike trees with broad leaves, conifers keep their leaves for all seasons. Most conifers belong to the Pinaceae family, which includes pines, spurns, firs, and cedars. They are typically found in colder climates or high-altitude regions. Their unique needle-like structure coated with a waxy layer helps reduce water loss and makes them well adapted to withstand and harsh conditions. Do you have any evergreen trees in your backyard? We have two large conifer trees in our backyard and several smaller ones along the side of our house. One thing that sets evergreen trees apart is their needles. Evergreens like pine, spruce, and fir trees have thin, waxy needles instead of the broad leaves you'd see on oaks or maples. These needles have a special waxy coating that helps retain moisture, which is especially important in cold or dry climates. The narrow shape of the needles also reduces water loss, which is why you'll often see evergreens thriving in harsh environments like high altitude mountains or areas with cold winters. Have you ever walked barefoot on a bed of pine needles? I have, and it hurts. I wouldn't recommend it. When comparing conifer trees with deciduous trees, the most noticeable difference lies in their leaves and seasonal habits. While conifers keep their needles or scales all year, deciduous trees have broad, flat leaves that change color and fall off in autumn. This leaf drop helps deciduous trees conserve energy and water through the winter, as regrowing leaves in the spring allows them to maximize photosynthesis during the warmer winter months. Conifers, however, can continue photosynthesizing through winter, which gives them a steady energy source year-round. Additionally, while conifers produce seeds within cones, deciduous trees generally produce seeds within fruits or nuts, further distinguishing the two types of trees. I've talked a lot about photosynthesis, but what is it? Photosynthesis is the process by which plants, algae, and certain bacteria convert sunlight into energy, providing the foundation for most life on Earth. During photosynthesis, plants absorb light through pigments in their leaves, primarily chlorophyll. This gives them their green color. They take in carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil, and they use sunlight to transform these elements into glucose, a type of sugar that fuels their growth and development. Oxygen is released as a byproduct and is essential for for many organisms, including humans. This process occurs in specialized cell structures called chloroplasts and involves complex chemical reactions that convert light energy into chemical energy. Photosynthesis is crucial for maintaining the oxygen levels in our atmosphere and for producing the organic compounds that form the basis of nearly all food chains on the planet. There are many different types of evergreen trees, but some of the most common are pines, spruces, and firs. Pine trees are probably the most recognizable, with long, slender leaves that grow in clusters. Spruces, on the other hand, have shorter, stiffer needles that are individually attached to the branch. And then we have fir trees, which have flat, soft needles and are popular choice for Christmas trees. Each of these trees has its own unique characteristics and adaptations that help them survive in their environment. Now let's talk about where evergreen trees grow. Evergreens are incredibly versatile and can be found in many parts around the world. The largest concentration of evergreens is in the Northern Hemisphere, particularly in places with colder climates like Canada, Russia, and Scandinavia. In these regions, vast forests of evergreen trees make up what's called the boreal forest or tiga. This is the largest land biome in the world, covering much of North America, Europe, and Asia. These forests are known for their long, cold winters and short summers, and evergreen trees are well-suited to survive in these conditions. But evergreen trees aren't only in cold places. 
In tropical rainforests, evergreen trees play a vital role in creating lush, dense canopies that support an incredible diversity of life. Unlike conifers in colder climates, rainforest evergreens have broad leaves instead of needles. Adapted to capture sunlight and withstand heavy rainfall, these trees keep their leaves year-round thanks to the rainforest's warm temperatures and consistent rainfall, which eliminate the need for seasonal leaf shedding. Rainforest evergreens such as mahogany, rubber trees, and certain types of palms contribute to the multi-layered structure of the forest, providing habitats for countless species from insects and birds to mammals like monkeys and sloths. The dense canopy formed by these trees also regulates the forest's microclimate, keeping temperatures cooler and retaining moisture within the ecosystem. Evergreen trees in tropical rainforests are essential to maintaining the health and stability of these unique and biodiverse environments. Have you ever been to the rainforest? My husband and I went to the rainforest in Malaysia and we got covered in leeches. I was also bitten by a monkey and my husband was bitten by a small green snake. We hiked to a pool that had those little fish that bite the dead skin off of your feet, but we were both ended up being too scared to actually let them do it. Anyway, back to trees. Evergreen trees also play a crucial role in the environment. Because they keep their needles year-round, they're able to absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen continuously. This process helps reduce greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, making evergreens important in the fight against climate change. Additionally, evergreen forests provide habitats for countless species from birds and insects to mammals like deer, moose, and bears. Their dense branches offer shelter from the elements and their seeds like pine cones provide food for many animals. Now you may be wondering about the classic symbol of winter, the Christmas tree. Many people choose evergreens, specifically pines, firs, or spruces as their Christmas trees because these trees remain lush and green during winter, symbolizing life and endurance through the cold months. This tradition of using evergreen trees for holiday decorations actually dates back thousands of years to ancient cultures, where evergreen trees were a symbol of hope and resilience. In some cultures, people would even bring evergreen branches into their homes to ward off evil spirits during the winter solstice. Do you have a Christmas tree at your home? I actually hate the smell of pine trees, so we opt for a fake Christmas tree. Another fascinating thing about evergreens are their cones. Pine trees, for example, produce pine cones, which contains the tree's seeds. These cones come in all shapes and sizes, and each species has a slightly different design. Pine cones are actually an important adaptation. They protect the seeds from the cold and from being eaten by animals until the conditions are right for them to grow. When it's warm and dry enough, the cones open up releasing seeds that can grow into new trees. Some types of evergreen cones only open after being exposed to heat, like from a wildfire, which allows the seeds to be released in nutrient-rich soil created by the fire. Have you ever planted a pine tree? My husband planted one when he was young and it had grown very large by the time the family sold the house. Evergreen trees are not just tough and resilient, but they're also long-lived. Some species, like the bristlecone pine, can live for thousands of years. Bristlecone pines are actually some of the oldest living organisms on earth, with some of the trees estimated to be over 4,000 years old. These ancient trees have survived countless harsh winters, droughts, and changes in climate. This incredible lifespan is part of what makes evergreens so remarkable. One reason these trees are able to survive so long is their ability to withstand difficult conditions. In the winter, when temperatures drop and water can be hard to find, evergreens go into a sort of dormant state. They slow down their growth and conserve energy, which allows them to survive with minimal resources. Their needles and waxy coating, which we talked about earlier, also help prevent them from losing water and freezing in cold temperatures. That is why you'll see evergreen trees standing tall in snowy landscapes while other trees might struggle. Evergreens also play an important role in soil health. When their needles eventually fall, they decompose and return nutrients to the soil. This helps create rich, fertile ground for new plants to grow, which benefits the entire ecosystem. Evergreen forests also help prevent soil erosion as their roots hold the ground together, reducing the risk of landslides in mountainous areas and areas with loose soil. Using conifer or evergreen needles as natural mulch is an effective and eco-friendly way to prevent weeds in gardens and landscaped areas. When layered over soil, these needles create a barrier that blocks sunlight which helps to inhibit weed growth. The needle's texture allows air and water to pass through easily, maintaining soil health and moisture while minimizing unwanted plant competition. As they decompose, conifer needles slowly release small amounts of acidity into the soil, which can benefit acid-loving plants like azaleas, blueberries, and rhododendrons. Additionally, evergreen needle mulch can improve soil structure over time, creating a light, fluffy texture ideal for healthy root growth. 
This natural mulch not only keeps weeds at bay, but also gives gardens a clean, polished look. Now for some fun facts about evergreen trees. But before we do, please help this video photosynthesize by taking a moment to push the like button. Liking, commenting, and subscribing helps me to keep making content like this. Thank you, and now on to fun facts. Evergreen trees can be used as a natural air freshener. Many evergreens, such as pine, cedar, and spruce, release aromatic compounds that give off a fresh, woodsy scent. These scents come from resins in the tree, which help protect it from insects and disease. I must be an insect because I do not like this smell, but it is very popular to other humans. The Fraser fir is often considered the most popular Christmas tree in the United States. Known for its soft, dark green needles with a silver underside, the Fraser fern has a classic symmetrical shape and a pleasant fresh fragrance, making it a top choice for holiday decorations. Its strong branches are ideal for hanging ornaments and its needles are known to have excellent retention, meaning that they stay on the tree longer and create less mess during the holiday season. The tallest evergreen tree is the coast redwood, native to the coastal forests of Northern California and Southern Oregon. Coast redwoods can reach outstanding heights, with the tallest known living specimen named Hyperion standing at around 379 feet, or 115.5 meters tall. These majestic trees are not only the tallest evergreen trees, but also the tallest trees in the world, towering above other species. Coast redwoods are remarkable for their rapid growth and can live for over 2,000 years with their tall straight trunks covered in thick spongy bark that helps protect them from fire and pests. Their ability to thrive in the moist foggy climate along the coast allows them to grow to such incredible heights making them one of nature's true giants. So next time you see an evergreen tree, whether it's a towering pine in a forest or a small spruce in someone's backyard, take a moment to appreciate all the amazing adaptations that help it to survive and thrive year-round. These trees are not just beautiful, they're vital to the health of our planet and the resilience of our ecosystems. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn about evergreen trees. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Let me know in the comments if you have a favorite type of evergreen tree or if there's something else about nature that you'd like to learn more about. Parents and teachers, if you're teaching about evergreen trees, click the link in the description for some resources that might be of interest to you. Thank you for watching and until next time, remember to get messy and make lots of mistakes today. Bye!